What up, though? It's your boy DJ Star back with another unboxing. But before we do that, please subscribe to the channel, hit that notification bell so you know when I'm dropping new content, and also please like, comment, and share on the video. It goes a long way to help the channel grow, and I'm still pushing for those subscribers. And make sure you check those links down below. Always some dope content you can really get into. So without further ado, let's get right into it. You can tell by the box. It is the Air Jordan 3 box. You got your cement or elephant print right here. You got a copper gold jump man over that royal blue, but it's not really royal blue. It looks like a light navy, to be honest with you. Open up the box, standard, everything standard. But you do have this new elephant paper they've been dropping with the three. And we're going to get right into it today. We have the Air Jordan 3. And then sneakers app is calling it true blue but it's really not a true blue and not even for the og but it's not really even a true blue in the colorway but really this is the air jordan 3 wizards pe jordan war when he signed with the washington Wizards for two years he had a custom pe made in the three because you know the three is one of his favorite pairs actually the three air jordan 3 is what kept jordan from leaving nike so this shoe should release or i'm gonna say should this shoe will release saturday I'm going to say April 29th. I'll put it in the video for retail price of, I believe, 200 or maybe 210 I'm not sure, but I'll put that all in the video. So let's go over the shoe. As you see, we'll start at the bottom. As always, you got your standard Air Jordan 3 traction, but the only thing is different. Remember, they don't have a Nike Air on the back, so you're going to have Jordan. And then you got the um, copper hits here and the copper hits for there. Remember, Air Jordan 3 does have an air sole unit in the heel and in the forefoot. And um, <clears throat> you get a, you can see the one in the um, heel right here through the window, which I always think they dropped the ball on these. They should have made it a copper color to kind of match those hits, but that's just on me. When we get up to the midsole, you got a white midsole, so no sale. And then you got this true blue, they're calling it, but it's it's not like, when I get up close to it, it's not really a royal. Like, it's royal, but kind of not, if that makes sense. But it's called true blue, so then we're going to say true blue. Right here going around the mud guard, you got your um, hits of elephant print. And again, this elephant print is really nice. And if you can see from this style right here on the top, that is an OG cut. But the elephant print is done really nice and it's really clear and well. You get up to the upper of the shoe and you got a nice little tumble leather, which they did a decent job on. You get to where the eyelids are, you got your elephant print right here with your true blue white laces. Now your tongue is made out of synthetic leather going all the way up. And what the difference is here is you do have the gold or copper jump man stitched in. Remember, that's to go with the Wizards jerseys when they move to that royal blue and kind of copper style. You get to the medial side, you can also see these eyelids are made with copper hits as well. You got your perforation of the tongue, which I didn't mention. Um, and then you get to the side panel and you got it going all the way through. So instead of stopping right here and this being white, they just took it all the way around. So that's a decent touch. Um, and then you get to the pill of the shoe, and as always, you got your nice little Jumpman Air on the back, which is done pretty clean. What I do like about the shoe, other than the OG cut and this tuck back, is the insole. As you see, you got like a nice little sheen to it, so it looks really comfortable. And your insole is done in that um, true blue with that white Jumpman. Um, it doesn't come with any spare laces or anything, but that's really about it for the shoe. So tell me what's your thoughts down below. Are you going for these this Saturday? I mean, what you think? Um, like I've been saying, if you have... The True Blue original OG Air Jordan 3s, you don't need this shoe. And if you got those Racer Blues from a couple years ago, you really don't need that shoe. I got a review for both of those down in the you know, description box, so check those out. But I feel like if you already had those shoes, you really don't need this shoe. But if you missed out on those shoes or don't have them in your collection, then this is a perfect buy for you. And to be honest, with the cut right here... And, and so it kind of makes it a decent buy. I personally will not be going for them because I own the other two shoes. So drop a comment and tell me what you think down below. So other than that, man, I'm going to get up out of here. I want to say thank you for watching and thank you for supporting me over this time. I, you can use some more support, but I love y'all all the same. I appreciate your support. So with that being said, I'm going to get on here as always. Make sure you subscribe to the channel. Hit that notification bell so you know I'm dropping new content. Please like, comment, share on the videos. It goes a long way to help the channel grow. I'm still pushing for those subscribers. And please make sure that you hit those links down below. So with that being said, as always, love, peace, and prosperity. I'm gone.